How's it going, everyone? This is Wimbo. Today we are going to have a, another quick Blender tutorial. Today's topic is about how to do modeling about anything. Though、so、this is also a question that I get asked very often: to how to do product modeling, and、uh, is there any one single trick that you can do anything? So this is what we're going to break down. Over here. So as you can see here, for the product mod modeling in here, so generally you can divide it, any shapes and the forms and and products into three, or well, I would say two major categories. One is the organic shapes. So you can see this is like a fruit, anything, and also any、uh, dripping stuff is not really uh is is geometric. So for the other side is for geometric is more like cylinder cubes and the UV sphere. As you can see here, this is a a, a finished a wine bottle. So it's very similar to a similar cylinder. So these are the two major shapes. When you looking for tutorials online or on YouTube, in general, people usually quickly dive in deep to show you how to do certain things in three,、uh, very small details level and to show you how to use shortcut or anything. But for the purpose of this tutorials, I want to show you the thinking process or problem-solving process to really think about how you want to approach a certain shape or certain type of product when you do modeling. So when you're doing the organic shapes like these, this is not really like we can quickly build out from these. Uh, default geometric shapes, so you probably gonna go to the sculpting solutions to doing all this modeling. So basically, there are major steps for the sculpting part. Is just you are going to go to the sculpting tab over here, and then doing a bunch of things using the brush and anything to to really、uh, to creating the general shape of the、uh, mesh. So as you can see here, this is a a、uh, untextured. Uh, blueberry. So as you can see here, these are some details over here for the blueberries. So it's actually creating through the sculpting method. So first you're gonna creating a general shape, and then you're gonna sculpting some details over here. You know, to adding more level of of details in in the mesh, and then you're gonna go through the retypology.、Uh, re、so to actually make this mesh to be very usable for either animations or for other、uh, software. So what you can do. If I go tap key, go to the edit mode. As you can see here, everything on here is based on a qua. So qua means like four lines, edges of shape is like square, and then rectangular. But this entire shape was basically uh, uh, consisted with a qua. You can search all these terms, do your own research, understand what these means. But I'm just gonna want to give you a general big picture of what that does. And when you finish this sculpting、uh, through that. Path, then you can actually creating something like this. So you can use for product rendering, like what we do, we can using these as a props. So we can generating some pictures,、uh, just very nicely with the organic shape stuff. But if you go to the geometric shapes, as you can see here, we have some default shapes, and everything can be. Creating through this, like this bottle, is pretty easy to do, and people usually reference this type of、uh, modeling. It's called hard surface modeling. You can actually creating pretty cool、uh, metal stuff or、uh, hard surface a robot or anything like that. But for our channels, we're focusing on the products. But、uh, apparently, when we dive deep in the Uh, hard surface modeling like these products, and we generally are going to running into the, some complex geometric shapes, like these、uh, cosmetic tubes and uh, and uh, even watch or anything. All these is going to be have a different approach. Is I just simply call the hybrid approach. Recently, I combining the Boolean operation with retopology method to creating something that very quickly and very nicely to approaching do to these subjects with complex geometry shapes. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so this is just going to be the big picture. So you can actually do a screenshot to kind of get a better understanding what I mean. So I'm going to do demonstrating how this hybrid going works, and also explain what is the boolean means. So I'm just going to un un hide this, and we are going to do a shift A to adding a just random shape. So let's do a cylinder, and then maybe I can zoom in a little bit. Hit hit S to scale up, and adding another. 
U is fair. Let's go up a little bit. Hit G and Z to grab it. And then go to the side view. Shift D to duplicate one. And then just put this on the side. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to using the Boolean to kind of creating some shapes that you can not really quickly generating through the typical geometric uh, method. So what I will do here, I'm going to select the cylinder right here. I'm going to go to the modifier and adding a Boolean modifier. And now we are going to click the union and they're going to select the object to use this one, the top one to join it together. So these two, this one and that one is going to join together and I'm going to hit apply. Okay. After I hit apply, nothing changed, but I actually made some changes already. And uh, the blender automatically just kind of generating a combined one, but it still saved the, the UV sphere on the top. So we are going to, uh, to grab this one. We can, or simply just delete it. So we still have the shapes going on here. If I'm tap, uh, hit tap key, as you can see here, we have some geometries like joined together. And next thing I'm going to using the Boolean to again, to kind of cutting this part out from the body. So uh, I'm going to select the main body, adding the Boolean modifier. And this time I'm gonna do the difference, okay? And I hit eyedropper and the sample this uh, sphere, okay? And then I'm going to apply that. Same thing has already happened. So you can see here, there's a, a, a dent already happening. So I'm just going to delete this one. So the problems we are running into here is these. So this is, looks pretty cool, right? Uh, uh, and it looks pretty nice. And that we have, have really used the Boolean modifier to kind of creating some shapes that we want. But the problem that we have here is if we are going to hit the top view, so we can see here, these are not really, uh, consistent with the quads that's like four or squares rectangular it's actually uh ngong which means a lot of vertex for one single space a uh, single face which is fine uh, if you're just leaving your model like this but in the real world a lot of times all these shapes is going to need to be smooth so basically what we need to do we need to have a a subsurface modifier so if i go back to select this body and go to the subsurface modifier and I gonna hit, hit two, even level two, doesn't matter. It's just gonna come up with really weird shapes and then it's not really usable. So that's why a lot of people hate the, the Boolean modifier or Boolean process. It doesn't really work very well, especially for product rendering or product modeling. It doesn't make any sense, okay? So if we don't use this, maybe we can use for some uh, other hard surface stuff but not for product rendering. Well, what I found is that we can actually using a hybrid model to, to creating something in general shape using a Boolean modifier to, to go through the, the basic geometry uh, process. And then we're gonna uh, kind of look, pick something from the sculpting part, just that process, the retopology process to combine together, become a hybrid one. So what's gonna happen here is we already finished the, 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 the major part is just kind of getting the general shape of what you want to creating. That's from the hard surface modeling. And then next we are going to go to the retopology. Uh, process. So a lot of times when you're doing retopology is a, a painful process, it's boring, but apparently now after developing uh, the blenders, we have a lot of tools that we can use. So first one we want to, I want to mention is this, is the uh, quad measure, quad remeasure. So this is the website that, that actually this is a brand, blender add-on that you can use to put in a, a multiple different uh, 3D software, you can quickly generate in quads from a basic shape. So this is the website you can go to check it out. And this is not a sponsor video. So this is something that really useful for my workflow. So I really highly man I recommend it to you, all of you. Another options that you want to do use have similar uh, use usage or functions is called instant mesh. So basically it's, uh, it's the same thing for sculpting and uh, you can just import your mesh and then they can generate in quads from there. And this is a free open source software so you can to use that. But uh, this quad remesher, it costs some money, but I would say this is uh, the add-on that 
worth every single penny that I spent. Okay, so now you have all the information. Next thing what I'm going to demonstrate in here is going to use the remesh, quad remesher add-on. So in here, and hit the end tab since I already installed that. And uh, what I would do, I just select this thing and the pick the quad count. So I can see how many uh, faces I want. I can do, if I really want to maintaining the shape of this, I can just do 600 or 400, whatever you want. And very simple. I don't need to set up anything and making sure the uh, symmetry is on the X axis. So what I will do here, I'm just going to do the remesh it right after and after I hit this you can see the body will stay remain there but it's been hide it and then we generating a new uh, mesh through the software so what I will do here I gonna close this uh, window hit end and I'm gonna making sure the original shapes to be visible and I'm gonna hit G X to grab it out as you can see here from the outside view it looks fairly simple fairly similar and, uh, and then we have a half u.s fair and uh, the, all these dents everything maintained here but the thing different is we if we hit tap view everything is made in quad basically this is a beautiful topology that we can use for a lot of stuff okay so now what we can do here we can actually adding a subsurface modifier hit here and then we're going to do a level two and now what I would do here is much smoother. Everything looks beautiful, right? And, but we are losing some edges in here. But it's very easy to fix. We're going to hit tap. And we're going to hit control R to adding a loop cut. And control B to bevel that. We're just going to re recreating the, uh, the edges in here. And same thing here. Control R and control B to kind of hit some bevel and then you can quickly just get in getting the sharp edge you want and then also in here so we want having a sharp edge of that so we can just also adding a, a, a loop cut in here hit double G to grab it and slide in and same thing here so we can even just adding another loop cut inside so in here so we can go back to here so we can just kind of push the edge a little bit more and then and for down here so we can do the same thing we can do a loop cut in here so we actually recalling all these shapes and very quickly well, rather than you manually fix all these ret uh, vertices and uh, faces that takes a lot of time so that's the main purpose of this tutorial just trying to show you a hybrid method to kind of utilizing some existing add-ons kind of getting a really good result from uh, a uh, what you want when you're modeling they save a lot of time and if you're working professional or 3d artist that are really interesting to learning all these well this is going to save you tons of time and to to really creating something very quickly and you're supposed to focusing on the creativity side and not really spending a whole lot of time just doing the 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 boring works and and for 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 the mesh okay well thank you so much for watch this is everything that i want to share in this video and if you really like this video please hit the likes and comment below and i will see you in the next video thank you bye